What's going on guys, Glimpse here back again on another MLB The Show 19 Diamond Dynasty video. The other day we did the analog hitting challenge, a lot of you guys seem to like that video. And I saw some suggestions to do another hitting challenge, directional. Now I'm not gonna lie, I used to be a part of the directional using club, whether that be back in MLB 15, MLB 16, I used to be a directional using pussy. And people really got mad at you for using directional hitting back then because a lot of people said it didn't really take as much skill. So today we're going to be committing raiding suicide once again. I thought we were doing so last time with the analog. We actually won. We are still undefeated on this season. I don't know how. But I guess let's hop right into it and maybe make this World Series dream a reality. <laughs> We're going this game, we got a Kershaw v Kershaw, he's got Willie Mays, Lou Gehrig. This might just be the most stacked team I have ever faced. Well, prepare my arsehole, they're coming in. World Series and 100 Diamond. If there was any doubts, it's right there. I'm gonna have to pitch my thick ass off if we're gonna want to win this game. Luckily, we got Kershaw, who's definitely my favorite pitcher to pitch with because he has really good control. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm very concerned. Slider right there to Joe Morgan. Gonna swing way too late. First punch out. Well, maybe it's not gonna be that bad. Slider right there, Tony Gwynn. Nice pitch. Okay, we do have the control, which is nice to see. We're locating our pitches where they need to go. Curveball right here, two strikes right there. Ricky gonna make that play. Sinker right there to Willie Mays. That is going to fall for a two out base hit. Luckily, he's got a fair amount of lefties, which is favorable for Kershaw. Can her cap get there? Let's go. Hell of a play, P-Mar. Oh my god, I was just wondering where my PCI went. Oh man. Now, I forget exactly how this works. Is that where you want to hit it? Or is that where your PC? I have no clue. I think where I'm pointing is where I want the ball to go. 2-2 uh, two, two right here. Gotta protect with each row. This is gonna give me a headache. This is like the corkscrew. They say only macho men ride roller coasters. Try going around on this. It makes it so much more difficult to see. I don't know when exactly I'm supposed to point there. Whether it's like before or right as I'm swinging. I have no clue. I'm a noob. So I just look at the options. I guess that's where I'm like focusing almost. It it makes no goddamn sense. This, oh, this is hell. What's the opposite of... Oh my... No. Curveball right down the middle. Well... So much for that. We have to make sure that's one of the only runs that come across because we are not going to get any support whatsoever from our offense in this one. Pudge up now, change up right down the middle, awful pitch. I don't know what the hell you were doing. You had your back turned to the ball, but we get the double play. Okay, I almost just don't want to use the arrows, but I feel that's really going to inhibit any sort of performance. I mean, to be fair, we're pitching a lot better than I was expecting besides that one home run, pretty damn good. But, oh my god. Like, I'm sure there's some insider trading secrets that I just don't know about, but on face value, this sucks. Ozzy Smith, okay, we get a base hit. I feel like that's kinda how this is supposed to work. What I don't understand though is that PCI, it just does not move from the center ever. Clayton Kershaw, what a beautiful hit. Like no matter where the ball is thrown, no matter where I point my 10 incher, it doesn't matter. The PCI always stays in the middle of the strike zone. Which you would imagine makes things about impossible. Oh no, Ricky, 99 speed. He's not getting that out though. Runners on the corners. We have a big spot right here. Garrick, we gotta score. All right, we just gotta wait for our pitch right here. Garrick got the middle. Let's go, baby. Nice RBI single, and we're tied up. I feel like directional hitting is literally only good if they're gonna throw the ball right down the middle. Like, if you're planning on entering a home run derby guy, damn, you might as well just use directional. But in places where they might actually try to not let you hit bombs, it's kind of a yikes. Tony Gwynn, Mr. Padre, this is a huge spot right now. Oh, he's shook. He's having accuracy issues. The directional hitting has gotten him shook. Tony Gwynn, change up. Oh, my God. Oh, we were early. Oh, we strike out this. <laughs> oh my god. I thought that was a grand salami. No, nope. we got the game tied up 1-1 right here in the fourth. We actually got a nice rally going. That gave me some sort of hope 
from where I was in the pit of despair earlier. Let's go fastball up and in. Make sure this is above the strike zone. You know he's camping out there. Let's go. Full strikeout. Gotta be careful. Duke Schneider has my ass 24-7. He is looking for revenge. All right, so I think we're going to follow the same game plan. Kind of just pointer arrow a little bit late. And that's probably the hardest hit ball other than Gehrig. So, we're making progress. Now, I am no Sherlock Holmes, but I have a feeling the way this works, Joel Morgan, that has... No, it's MLB 19. Don't kid yourself. It's getting caught. Calm your panties down. It's warning track power. But no, I have a feeling that directional hitting probably is not based off where your PCI is, or that would make no sense. You're asking to get struck out if you use this. Kershaw coming into his fifth inning of work, actually pitching a really good ball game. Go goddamn figure right down the middle. Ichiro cannot get to it. 53 speed. Easy double for him. Why the hell do I ever talk, put a zipper on my mouth, and throw away the goddamn key? Sinker right there to Cal. We're going to be able to make that play, but 53 speed, it doesn't matter. He didn't go. What the hell are you doing, my guy? I don't know. It's like the big boy in Matt Ball when you could easily go, but he's too scared to get thrown out and get made fun of. I'll take it though, I'm happy about that, but now we gotta capitalize on that and make sure that he does not score on this opportunity curveball by Kershaw. Blue. You guys know how there's been so many more home runs hit, and probably the players have been getting tested a little bit more. Can we talk about the umps getting tested? Is this not a swing? Did he not cross the plane of the plate? He crossed the plane of the goddamn batter's box. Sticking out his bat like he's gonna play shuffleboard and nope not a swing. Oh, he better not get a hit now Kershaw. Oh my god. Nice little blooper right there for him I don't think he's gonna go runners on the corners with one down. He's got Kershaw. Is he gonna take him out? No, he's not Okay, no, 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 he's gonna bunt. He's gonna bunt. Oh my god. You sneaky bastard Just gotta pray to the MLB gods. He doesn't get a lucky bunt. Okay, there we go What the hell was that? He just tried to throw his bat at it not done yet. We still got Joe Morgan to go through. Longoria, please get there, get there, get there. Let's go, Longoria. Blue diamond defense. I'm going to try to contact swing with Ichiro with this. Oh, that is the bloop god. What? If he didn't have Cal, if he had anybody else but Cal, that drops. That is the picture perfect bloop. That is what all cheesers go to bed dreaming at night of getting. My god, that was a hell of dot, Ichiro. Just got to keep it up. We got to keep pitching good. Lou Gehrig right there on the ground. Except for that one mistake pitch. That one curveball that he just hung down the middle asking for him to clap his cheeks. We've been doing a good job pitching to this World Series player. With this kind of team, Kershaw, nice play behind the mound. Two strike slider here to Sweet Lou. Can we get a nice pitch? Gets that off the end of the bat. He's going to get a one out or two out single. 74 pitches so far from Clayton Kershaw. There we go. That time it goes right to Ichiro and we get out of it again. 2-1. I'm a plant myself right there. We're late on our timing. He's not going to get their 64 speed. Lou Gehrig leadoff single. Longo, I could use another base hit to stack. That is wow. <laughs> and I thought Peter Analog gave those cheap ass hits. These are Dollar General hits. Bro, I'm not stealing. I'm not double stealing with nobody out two runners on. It's, unless it's like pretty close down the middle, you're going to strike out. Full count if it's not there. Do not swing. That is not going to get past Lou Gehrig. Oh man, that would have been so big. Double play on top of it. Top five biggest turnoffs of all time. That's got to be on that list. Gonna get that pass Longoria leadoff single. Man, that's so tough. He struck out once on it. Let's go fastball up once again. And then work back down with the curveball. Nice pitch way too early. 3-1. I don't want to walk him. Let's still go with the slider. There we go. Should be easy, Ricky. No fly zone. Get there. He's gonna bring in the T-Boost Frank Thomas right here. I almost don't want to pitch to him. He has given me so many hard times in the past. I will pitch to him, but we're not gonna give him anything good. Go figure. He's gonna take that one the other way. That should not be a double. We actually got him run at first. We can make the tag. Let's go. Oh, he's fuming. He is pissed. Warning, if you have high cholesterol, do not watch that extreme sodium levels. 
I almost feel like contact swinging is really the move right now because it's gonna make our PCI bigger and that's gonna extend from the middle so hopefully we can make some sort of contact. Full count now, wait for our pitch, Ozzy Smith that's gonna get there for Joe Morgan, god damn it. Gonna keep Kershaw for the simple fact that that curveball is giving him such fits, we dive too early, that's tough, lot of speed to lead it off. Oh man, I didn't think he was gonna steal first pitch, if I did a slide step we could've got him. Huge spot for him, he already has a runner in scoring position right here. If we can get a strikeout, that would be huge on Tony Gwynn. And we get the exact opposite, gonna send it to the cap, god damn it. 89 speed, should be an easy double for him, RBI. Let's go change up, I imagine he's expecting the hard stuff, so hopefully we can mix speeds. And we got Tony Gwynn on Tony Gwynn, is he gonna run on that 89 speed? It's gonna be close either way, we have a dart and he's just gonna get in there. He has Garrick, I'm gonna intentionally walk him, but probably not gonna strike him out anyway. He does have Duke Schneider coming up, hopefully we can get a double play. Fastball up, oh my god, how do I airmail a fastball that bad? Change up, and we're gonna work the walk to lower the bases. 2-2, two, two, let's go with the slider. Nice take by his part. Circle change up on the inner half of the plate. We cannot afford to walk him. What a dot. Going fastball right here. Blow it by him. I guess let's go cutter. Tailing outside a bit of a waste pitch. We cannot let him score. What a hot one. Lou Gehrig sending that to the gap. That is exactly what i think we're supposed to do garrick's the only one doing a goddamn thing out here he gets a two out double that's huge but the job's not done we gotta bring him around and we know that's hell and a half brings in lee smith right here was not looking to face him tony gwynn's got the speed he's gonna make the catch oh my god i cannot escape this cutter coming inside on alan Moore. nice pitch jamming him just got to get one more out here. That is such a bad slider. And here we go into the bottom of the ninth. Cue that music. He's going to bring in Billy Wagner for this bottom of the ninth right here. We got to be selective at what we swing, not at that. Oh, Tony Gwynn, there we go. Lead off single. I think I'm starting to get a little bit of a hang of this now. About goddamn time of the ninth inning. All right, down the middle and we were late. Oh, slap me. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We're gonna put in Frank. I imagine he's gonna switch to a righty. Yes, he is. He goes to Gossage, so I think we're going Gallo. He doesn't have a lot of vision, but I trust him. Part of me really, really wants to try to steal, but I know it's not the right move. Gallo! No, 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 no. I got way too hyped for a split second. It seemed like we had it. We're going Harper, I imagine he's going to switch back to a lefty. The only righty we have left is Johnny Bench. Nobody tell him, but he should probably walk me and get to my pitcher. I don't have any righties left. Full count now. Oh, I should probably just take my hands off the controller, but I need to see if he's going to throw one. He does walk me. It's going to bring up Ballinger. Woo, that was a pitch that we could have hit a quarter mile Oh no, what the hell am I doing? Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh man, ah, I hate, I hate directional with the passion. Give me my PCI, that's my pitch. Oh god. To be fair, that was an extremely close intense game. He had a much better team than I. He was a World Series player. We had eight hits, uh, probably should have been like four, but it says eight. I'm sure there's things I'm missing with directional things that I just don't know that would have helped me hit and not strike out. How many times did I even strike out in that game? Eight? Oh no, that was him. It's ten! If it wasn't for that, I think we might have been able to pull out the victory, but nonetheless, props to my opponent. Really nice game. Leave a like down below if you guys enjoy this. Have any other challenges that you guys would like to see me do? I have one in mind that I will be coming out a little bit later in the week. Just a spoiler pretty crazy subscribe if you guys are new for all the goofs and gas i would really not want you guys to miss out on all of those goofs and gas coming up but hope you guys have a great day there goes himself yeet